As a highly recruited high school quarterback, Dan Marino could have played anywhere. But for this neighborhood hero from Oakland, his path of glory began right at home. I could walk to Pitt Stadium. I could walk from my high school to Pitt Stadium. There's not many kids, you know, growing up could, could say that they lived in the same area of a university and was able to become the starting quarterback for that university and play high school in the same neighborhood, play college football in the same neighborhood. So it was something special and I, and I, and I thought that uh, the only place for me to play was Pitt. In his four years, Marino grew from a 17-year-old freshman whose first pass was intercepted to an All-American whose quick release and ballistic arm helped make him the most productive passer in Pittsburgh history. But Marino possessed more than just physical ability. He approached the game with a cool confidence that would help rally his team in tight games. Danny was a kind of a cocky guy, and uh, that kind of rubbed off on you as, a, as, as an offensive player. When you could look into the quarterback's eyes, and you could see the confidence in that cocky type of fashion, and you know that, hey, we're going to get it done when, no matter what it takes. You have to have a lot of confidence to play that position. You can't go out and throw two or three interceptions and think that you're not going to play anymore. And then, you, you know, that's why uh, Coach Sherrill had so much faith in Dan when he would throw an interception, he wouldn't say anything to him because the next pass might be a touchdown. And that's uh, the confidence that Dan has. You know, he never let anything get him down. And we were always in the game till the last minute, just like in the Sugar Bowl. The 1982 Sugar Bowl pitted the 10 and one Panthers against the highly ranked Georgia Bulldogs. With just seconds remaining in the game, Pitt trailed by three. It was fourth down, and Jackie Sherrill was thinking field goal. Called timeout to talk about him. Called Danny over, and Danny sent him and looked me in the eye, giving him what my thoughts were, and he said, Coach, I'm not here to, to tie the ball game. We didn't come here to tie the ball game. I knew right then that he would get it done. It is fourth down for Pitt. The crazy thing about it was it's fourth and five, and they tried to blitz and they left one-on-one -on -one coverage with John Brown going straight down the middle of the field, and uh, nah, nah, that was kind of a mistake. Fourth and four and a half. Could be the last play for him. Marino goes deep. Brown, touchdown! John Brown makes a great catch for 35 seconds to play! The dramatic Sugar Bowl victory was the climax of three years of pit football supremacy. Three consecutive 11-1 seasons, three triumphant bowl appearances, and an overall record of 33-3 elevated Pitt firmly into the elite of college football.